Two on the night beat, one man's vision to battle homelessness in San Antonio has turned into a sprawling 22 acre campus catering to some of the city's poorest residents. Today's city leaders and the night team's Corey Smith went to Haven for Hope to see how far the organization has come and the challenges that lie ahead. To consider Haven for Hope just a homeless shelter would be a mistake. We consider ourselves a transformational campus. Since opening its doors in 2010, Haven for Hope has helped more than 2,000 people find permanent housing and another 1,500 find employment. People like Valerie Salas, who arrived on campus in 2013, addicted to drugs and ready to end her life. She recalled her first day inside. I wanted to walk out any second and just kind of go do things on my own again. And, and just that connection was just so pivotal and vital for me to be in um, the care of someone who experienced my pain. Less than two years later, Salas now works at a prestigious law firm. She says it's a testament to the work being done here. What this place allowed was, was a second chance at, um, at being successful and having a sense of purpose again. But just as the organization celebrates its five-year anniversary, President and CEO Mark Carmona says there's no time to rest on its laurels, as the challenge to end homelessness is a daily one. I think it's really truly understanding the nature of, of, of trauma, uh, the nature of mental illness, how deep, how acute it is. Uh, it's having enough and adequate affordable housing in our community. And Mayor Ivy Taylor, who toured the campus with her council colleagues, says it's the city's responsibility to help meet that challenge. We need to address the folks who don't make their way to the campus who are still out in the community and also how can we um, have more of a focus on intervention so that people don't end up homeless. Now, during their tour, council members got a sneak peek of the newest addition to the Haven for Hope campus. This facility on Martin Street will house a call center staffed by up to 100 of the shelter's residents. It will also provide housing for married couples who do not have children and people who are ready to make the transition out of the shelter. Steve?